end of their injuries. That's the last thing you guys didn't roll on. Ooh. Oh yeah, who's good at me? Oh, the druid. Do you know about medicine? Can you care for some injuries? Uh, yes. Do you have a medicine kit? I'll just, if you don't, for this time, I'll allow you to just to roll a medicine check. Okay. I, um, I, I didn't really know what gear I had. I mean, I just, right now I have the starting character gear, plus that staff. Right. Yeah, um, that's true. For role play, so I didn't really know how you... Okay. So you just got to roll a medicine check to get rid of one of them. Um, the DC equals 10 plus the amount of damage you receive below zero, which we don't remember right now. So we'll just say, um, or if you get a natural 20, they automatically um, get rid of one. Um, and there's four injuries to cure here, so... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Gerlach has one, so even if you want to start with him, um, uh, we'll we'll make it a DC eighteen that you gotta beat. Okay. Because that was a bad fight. And I only get one chance at it, or for each I one, uh, and then you have to wait twenty four hours to try and cure that same injury. Okay. Um. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna make that roll. Jeez. Oh, All right. So. You get rid of one. On, Does that, uh, <laughs> so I have a plus 17 medicine. So if I roll wow. a one, I get an 18. Well, I, I got I have exceptional wisdom because I'm a druid. Yeah. And I had medicine as a, so I. I it's I, rolling I, correctly. Yeah. Um, my question is, if I roll a one and get an 18, does that still succeed? Yeah. Okay. So then I succeed on all of them. I mean, I can roll it if you want. Oh, wow. That is that is a good point. Um, all right. So Avi still has one. But see, that's why I made it so you have to have medicine kit. Does Thorndil, okay. do you have a medicine kit? I do. So just subtract three charges from yours. He just borrowed yep. your medicine kit um, to heal everybody up. You got to wait another 24 hours to heal Avi's second injury. Okay. Um, and it looked like there was basically no magic that you can't, I can't cheat it, correct? No, you can't cheat. Okay. With the injuries, the magical healing doesn't get rid of the injury. Because, like, it's mostly, like, broken bones and things like that that are, like, sure. more, like, deep scars and, and stuff. Um, you can heal some flesh with all your healing, but um, this is slightly different. I made this, like, a caveat thing, like... Sure. You can also use like greater restoration to get rid of them and shit like that, but if you don't want to spend the spell slots, you might want to. That's really expensive. Yeah, a thousand gold pieces. Yeah, I mean, pretty much it is expensive. Yeah, we can work around some of those costs, like if you have equivalent items in your inventory. But I have regenerate that doesn't cost a ton, but it's a seventh level spell. I'm not gonna yeah. Do it now. Yeah, regenerate wouldn't cure those kind of injuries, but yeah. All yeah. right, the party looks pretty healthy. Do you guys want to break camp and head to wherever you want to go? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm putting you on the world map. I kind of like that music better. Okay. Everybody see the map, right? Yep. yep. So, I made a new thing here also, because remember how before I was like, alright, make a survival check before you move to the next location on the map, right? We're going to do it differently now. You're going to move the token to whichever hex you want to go to. And then I'm going to, each time you move it, I get the roll on my table. Every time. And you're going to see what happens. So, there's a chance nothing happens, but there's also a chance that 
encounters will happen and they're going to happen more frequently than they did in the past probably now from this point on so the gloves are coming off because you have a healer <laughs> no not because of that but just because it's just more efficient um so what are your goals at this point you guys want to head back to steel rock tribe and return those villagers from inside the the research lab um or do you want to head someplace else where and you got the waste roamer sitting here is everybody zoomed in to like where we're at on the map um the waste roamer mm -hmm. is currently damaged um you're probably going to need to get it repaired um, or you could go back to it and start working on repairs but it's going to take you like a long time to get it fixed probably another whole long rest um which would be another 24 hours of downtime at least to get it repaired out here in the field without help. Honestly, that might be worth it, though. Unless you think we could find someone at the Steel Rock Tribe that could help us. They could probably help you if you could get them to help you, yeah. They have the capability to help you. It's just whether or not you can convince them or pay them. It's probably going to cost you money. What are you guys thinking? What do you guys want to do? Dave, everybody. Um, I say we go back, have them help us repair our vehicle. Absolutely. And that way we also return the, uh, these guys that were prisoners and those tanks to safety. So that's killing two birds with one stone. And we turn in our treasure that we got. But perhaps turning them over would get someone to help us without us having to pay a gold as well. Or at least a discount. Alright. Let's head back. All right, who's going to control the token? Move it one hex at a time. All right, stop there. Okay. Um, harmful marshes are in this area. And the marshes are ripe with disease and sickness. Each party member must make a DC 15 constitution saving throw or receive one disease from the disease table. So roll them up, bitches. All right, uh, Thorndale, you're safe. You're safe. Volter, you're barely safe. <laughs> Gerlach. All right. Uh oh. I um, I'm gonna. Damn it. Hero points or Indomito. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, no, a Domino just uses another roll um, so it's like it's I'm gonna, advantage i'm gonna use a domino i got two. all right all right roll it again all right all right you're safe um so i gotta roll mike are you there yeah gotta, can you roll a constitution saving throw for me Wait, we we got into a battle or something? No, it's it's an environmental hazard. You're you're traveling through a harmful marsh, and there's disease and sickness in the area. Lyra failed. Huh. Oh crap! You got a disease, Mike. All right, the first uh, one. The first one's for Lyra. Oh my god, she received noble winds. She begins farting uncontrollably, but it smells ah! sweet. <laughs> Everybody notices. What the fuck? She has disadvantage on stealth checks for 48 hours. <laughs> I'm going to put that on the combat tracker. Uh, why don't I see Lyra? There she is. Um, she's got uh, noble wind. 
disease. Now you can do a cure disease or, or lesser or greater restoration to get rid of these. Um, can you, uh, by the way, can you link me the initiative? The one from the, uh, from discord pulled up one with Aurelius and the waste runner. You know, I updated it multiple uh, it, times and it's, think, it's still, it's, I, I think I know why it's happening. I just can't avoid it. It's hard to explain to right now. just have to link it every time, I think. Yeah, I'm probably going to. So, Annie, that link in, in the uh, chat, that's our combat tracker. Okay. It'll show you, like, statuses and stuff on people. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. If you DM, it's so much better than the Rule 21. What the fuck? <laughs> What, Dave? I just saw the, the disease. <laughs> I got a roll from Michael's disease. Now he failed. He got the same thing. Oh <laughs> Bunch of uh, Doom, Doom Slayer, you can't control your gas. You fart constantly. Um, but it got... smells sweet. <laughs> uh, yeah, for 48 hours, you both have disadvantage. Okay. And then I got a roll for Avi because she's with the party, right? So, watch her get the same thing. Um, so Constitution save. She got a disease too. Dreaded the dreaded malergy. Few have survived this infliction of this fable contagion. Not much is understood about the malergy, but patients are struck with a deep sense of dread as they become bedridden and sweat constantly. 48 hours after the disease has set in, they can no longer move. If they do not fight off the infection, they succumb to asphyxiation and perish. So Avi's going to die unless you find a way to cure her. Him. Yeah, we need some antibiotics. Yeah, um... Okay. okay, so basically what that means is you got to get her some medical attentions within 48 hours. You, it's, you traveled four hours already, but it's starting now. Um, that's everybody I think I rolled for. We should probably roll for Kryn. Actually... The... I might just skip her because she's yeah i'll just skip her for right now all right so that's all that happens that time so if you guys move again um we'll see what happens all right we're gonna see oh okay strange salvage you've come upon some wreckage or salvage the party can ignore it or make an investigation check if you succeed on the check you determine the nature of the salvage whether it's i'm gonna roll on one of the tables and you'll get the appropriate uh, items from the salvage. There is, however, a small <laughs> risk of exposure to disease. Uh, at the end of the check, the DM gets the roll of D100, and depending on the roll, which you don't know what my hidden number is, a character chosen at random gets the roll on the disease table. What do you guys want to do? So you can either investigate the salvage or completely ignore it and keep going. Dorinda would definitely vote to investigate it. Yeah. Okay. Cool nature. What's everybody else say? You don't all have to agree, you know. Thorndale, you can just start running over and investigating it if you want. Well, I don't want to I'm, put anyone I'm else I'm going on lookout. Well, if we limit the people who go in, then... You're you're all like this is overwilled stuff, so you can't really. It's all either going to happen or it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, but I think yeah. we have a look at it <laughs> in the background. We <laughs> <laughs> just not getting all of that. Can I argue <laughs> that like I go in by myself away from the group, so that if someone has to roll on the disease table, it'll be me. Mm, sure, if you want to take the risk yourself, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to put everyone else in danger, but. Okay, so let's see um, how many things we got there. Roll common treasure, simple crafting, 
Healing items, ammunition, or so there's five. I'll roll a d6 minus one, and, and that'll determine which thing I get to find. All right, so I got a four. So you guys find some not common treasure, simple crafting. You find some ammunition, and we'll roll on it twice because of <coughs> Volter scavenging. So you find some 30 out six ammo times two. So you find two rounds of 30 out six. I think Volter uses that. So you can grab those a ammunitions there, Volter. Let me know if you you got it, and I can move on. I'll just keep rolling. Some nine millimeter ammo. I'll roll another D10. We'll multiply that. Five. So you find five rounds of nine millimeter ammo. Okay, um, now I get to roll D100. Okay, no diseases or, or you don't contract any diseases this time. Good job washing your hands. Does everybody got the ammo on their sheets or in the group inventory before you move on? Um, I'm taking the rifle ammo. Okay. I'll take the 9mm. I think I'm the only one that can use it. Okay. <clears throat> cool. So, that's all that happens, and you've been traveling now for... 8 hours. You can press on and continue to the next location. Um, or you can set up camp. Well, moving really slow across the terrain because you're on foot now, not in the waste roamer anymore. We're not exhausting ourselves, though. So. For, for every two hours, well, you've been walking for eight hours. At the end of eight hours, March, you need it. You, you're going to start suffering exhaustion at every two hours after that. So it's right, four well, more hours. You can take a long rest. We don't have. To, it doesn't have to be as detailed a long rest this time. I, I say we. Uh, or you could press on. And not worry about the after those eight hours. Um, let's let's take a rest. Let's find a good area to rest and take a take a long rest, so we don't uh, we don't suffer from any uh, exhaustion. I think that's pretty important, especially since we're traveling rough terrain. To keep that in mind, be mindful of that. An astute observation. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, that's what I want to do. Everybody else okay with that? Yeah. Okay, long rest checklist. There you go. All right, I need a survival check. I let Whatever. Mr. Druid oh, take the lead there, I think. Okay. Sure. Uh, I'll scout around and um, look for a good place to camp and... Yeah, you you find a good location, um, and you 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 get the gear together and you go off and uh, start setting up the camp. Um, does everybody have food, or do you need to go hunting or foraging? I believe we probably do need to go food uh, hunting. I think everybody's low on rations. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty low on rations. All right, who wants to work on the hunt? Who wants to be in charge of the hunt? I can assist, but my survival's negative. Yeah, I think um, Walter and uh, Gerlach will go out hunting then. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll let you roll, Dave, because you're the one leading the expedition. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you find enough food for the party. Everybody involved for one night. Okay, um, so you prepare your food. We'll just go over that real quick. Is anyone going to do any more downtime activities now? Uh, you have 16 hours to camp. I might fix that rope uh, thing. The grappling hook? Yeah, uh, if, if Slayer wants it. Mike, do you want him to attach that grappling hook to your rifle? He probably does. Yeah, I'll just do it. There we go. Uh, behind his back. You want the <laughs> grappling hook attachment? <laughs> Me? He's going to he's going to work on it for you. Yeah. Um 
I'm still on the big, the main map. So yeah, technically you're camping right now. So this is sort of just what you're doing. He's going to set this up for you if you want it during this long rest. You're taking another long rest. You've already oh traveled God. eight hours. Oh, oh, I missed a lot, didn't I? Kind of, yeah. Mostly you missed the well. farting. You're farting, <laughs> and so is Lyra. You contracted a disease. I heard that part. <laughs> okay. All right. But so I go ahead and roll, Dave. Uh, he's gonna okay. want that on his weapon. So. Yeah, he's gonna get that. All right. He got it. You got it on there. It took you. Six hours to do that. So after six hours, it's installed on his weapon. Um, let's just get that on there real quick for him. Um, so you know how to use this now, Mike? Yeah. A grappler. <laughs> get it on your. I'll do it on your sheet for you. Um, Dex for the attack roll. Um, grappling hook attachment. Okay, what, el what else is left there to do? Does anyone want to make a perception check who's standing watch? Um, well, I, I would like Grillax. to heal some people. Grillax, watch him. All right. Okay. All right, make a perception check. I got his grappling hook on there. There's no, there's no damage though. Okay, has to be right now. Okay, sorry. All right, so you're looking out during. How long do you want to stand watch? Because it's 16 hours. You could stand an eight-hour watch or whatever. Um, but during your time on watch, nothing approaches the camp that this appears to be hostile. And you notice nothing, so I'm, I'm fine with taking a watch as well. Okay, make a perception check. Okay. And I and I do want to do a lesser restoration on the farting people before. Okay, and you want to cure their their farting? Yeah. So, yeah, you just do that before you go take your rest, um, and then after you rest for six hours, you get your spells points back anyway, and. Um, Am I aware mm -hmm. of of the wasting disease yet? Or, or, the dreaded, I mean, yeah. So obviously, we know the, the the farting. That's clear. But the dreaded melurgy is that is that because I would also try and if I could lesser restoration that way too. You got a greater restoration that one. Yeah. You want to do that? If not, um, you'll have to prepare the spell at the end of your rest and then cast it and subtract the spell slot. I don't have 100 gold pieces of diamond currently on my character. Um, that's fine. You guys can supplement with other items in your inventory. Yeah, I think um, I have them actually here. Let me let me double check before I say that. Because I, yep. I have it memorized for the day. Because you have a garnet, you have a garnet worth a hundred. You can mm -hmm. just spend that garnet, Thorndil, if you want to subtract the garnet. Yeah, he'll um he'll see what you're doing and uh, he'll he'll definitely hand you a garnet. Okay. It, I mean, yeah, I think if I recognize that it will kill her, um. Yeah, like yeah, you're aware of all the possible outcomes with it from the okay. overland travel part. So, yep, if I revealed it to you, you you're aware. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Then yeah, I'll I'll make sure before I regain spells to burn those spells. Okay. To, uh, get everyone. Did you have it prepared already? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, you burn every spell slot you need, and then she's cured. Okay. So not too bad. Um, you can also make another medicine check to get rid of one of Avi's injuries. Is her last injury. Okay. Um, if there's any charges left on the uh, medicine kit, Thorndale. Yeah, there's two, so I'll subtract. Okay. And your automatic success on that because um, you'll roll an 18. So he gets, you cure his injury. You're that he's that good at medicine. That's he's like a master at it. Okay. So for your watch, you're gonna do. You see no approaching enemies, and nothing else hostile happens. And that's the end of the long rest, guys. That's that's a quick one uh, there. Um, and then you wake up the next day, and you guys are ready, to, fresh and ready to travel again. With the people in tow. So you got one more hex to go, I think, until you're at Steel Rock Tribe. On the way, um, Thorndale turned to Noctua, and you said you've been to our planet. Yes. What part? When were you there? I was there uh, several weeks ago. Mm. Wow. You have a, a great observatory there that I traveled to. Do the walls still hold? I know that when we left, there was a issue with the power that it was going to take power away from. Uh, the the thing. the batteries are very low. The night star they're worried that the shields are going to fail. Time is of the essence. Yes, we've lost two of our party from there already. I just hope that we can be victorious in our mission. I as well. All right. And yet, yeah, I'll just. Okay. We got to roll one more time. And nothing unusual happens for those four hours, and you make it to Steel Rock Tribe. All right. Let me um, find that map. There it is. Okay. So you get there. Okay. Let me set this up. I'm probably going to have to move some tokens around. <laughs> um. Where are your tokens, anyway? Uh, by the way, Strummer. Up to the top right now? Okay, yeah, the way Strummer wouldn't be here, so I'm, I'll hide that. Um, but Aurelius is gone, and you're with some new traveling companions now. So, we've got Doomslayer. Um, we have... Uh, who, who else are we missing? Noctua, of course. And you got Kryn with you, I think. Ed Walter. Currently. Walter? Yeah, we don't even have Walter. Oh, Walter, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Gotta get Walter in there. Um, <laughs> Can't see me. I got you. He's I got you on there. That sneaky, even we didn't <laughs> Look at the size of this fucking party. Um. <clears throat> Oh, Walter, uh, Kryn says that when she gets back, she's like, um, well, you've got me here. Um, is there anything we need to talk about? She pulls you to the side. Um, I see you came looking after me uh, again. You really shouldn't have done that. I was safe on my own. Well, I guess I wasn't, but I look, I, I appreciate you safe in that. Not much could have happened to you there. I appreciate what you did, but you have to stop trying to save me all the time. I'm not trying, Kryn. Well, it seems like you are. Why did you cross the continent to come find me? Because they're coming for you. Who's coming for me? No let one knows where I went. Let people walk. And do their own thing. The Tavar Sin can kiss my ass. I left them 
just like you should leave them. They're no good, I'm telling you. They have no idea what's going on out here. And you, didn't e hurt. you didn't even ask me why I was there. How come? It's just one of your ideas. It wasn't just an idea. I had good intel this time. That guy, that Logan guy that, that was operating that facility, he's the one. He's the one from back in the day. I'm telling you, he is the one who betrayed the Tarvas, and they're just not willing to admit it. This story again. Yeah, well, it's not... I have proof this time. You saw the place. You saw the facility. He's taking the people just like he did in the days of the Tarvasin, and he's going to create an army and we're all going to be destroyed. Forget about the Varul. There's small potatoes compared to what he's doing. He almost killed us last time. Yes, I do not but... know whether hunting for him has any point makes any sense. I do not think it does. Well, that's just typical Volter, isn't it? Always thinking that nothing's wrong. There's something very wrong this time. And it's going to only get worse unless we stop him. Or die trying. Hmm? I'll die trying. I know. And that's why I'm here. I will not let you die. Well, look, I see you got your friends here, and I appreciate their help as well, but I can't keep following you guys. I have my own job to do. Look, I'm going east. I'm heading for this research facility out there that way. Maybe our pass will cross again, but I have to go. always have to go but the thing is Kryn you never come back and then I need to go Lord King for you again you I don't crossed have to follow the world me. to find you oh, Walter, you want to you're run away. so dramatic you're not my father look no sometimes I wish I was because I would lay you over my knee right now you're being stupid this almost got you killed and you are trying to do it again. I'll be fine. I won't make the same mistake I just made here. I promise. That's what she says. And I cannot hold you. That's right. Awkward. That you can't. Look. And she hands you this, this thing. I found this inside there, okay? It's like this little like um transmitter thing you'll know where i'm at if i get in trouble i'll activate it okay and if you really want to come find me you can but that's all i can that's all i can promise right now be be careful out there he's dangerous that logan man i know well I got some ideas this time. And then you see her transform into her, her actual clothing. She activates a thing and then her, her, her magic armor shows up. And then when she's in this armor, I'll show you the full picture this time. She, um, she says, Alfita Zane. And then she uh, clicks a button on it and she goes completely invisible. Like, and then you just hear her footsteps for a few moments and then there's complete silence. She disappears. Uh, what? Wait, where did that one girl go? She should not go toward danger, but no one can stop her. This? Where did it? What happened? What I missed, I was, I was drinking, I was drinking water, and just, and it, and eating a couple crack, 
Oh, you are a simple man. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> he eats water and crackers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I drink water and I eat chips. <laughs> Sometimes I wish that's that world was always. While you guys were talking, because I was not only bored, but very hungry. So, yeah, she disappeared on on you guys, Mike. Um, you've seen her activate her stealth armor, and she just took off. It definitely seems like her and Volter have a long storied history that they, you know, it's not, it's not, the tension between them seems to be pretty high. Okay, so... That's what happens with her. She goes off altar, and now you guys are back in the town, and the villagers all go running in as you guys arrive. Like so, this all happens as you get here, and um, they go back to their respective families, and they start gathering up a like a crowd and a posse. And the next thing you know is they're all gathered out inside out by the mayor's house. Remember the mayor who wouldn't let you see him? So they go... (laughs) Yeah. um, So you guys are all, like, now together again, and uh, you can go about the town as you wish. They're they're trying to, like, bang on the mayor's door to get his attention. But you've accomplished what you've came here to do. Um... Suddenly, Thorndil, you hear something coming through the transmitter that that Commander Collinsworth gave you. Okay. And um, to Lorian team, come in. This is Collinsworth. Over. Yes, this is this is us. Over. We need to get an update on your status. How are things going down at Steel Rock? Give me just a few moments, and we will let you know. We've rescued some people, but we these we still need to talk to the mayor. Over. Roger that, Talorian team. Get back to me as soon as you can. Oh, and there's an update for you. Madison Wyther here, she said she's got good intel on the location of the Eastern Research Facility. If you can get there, get back here soon we might be able to have a plan of attack but feel free to finish up any other business you got out there there's no rush unless you're in a rush is anyone else is anyone else hungry or am I hungry (laughs) you guys just ate four hours ago (laughs) I didn't yeah you did everybody did you took a long rest Oh. Maybe you, your character eats constantly. There is a tavern here. You could go check it out. Um, they probably serve food there. I'm gonna... So, like... Okay. Okay, so, so Collinsworth... Collinsworth, you know, gives you that update on the status um, of the Eastern Research Facility that supposedly contains like some type of special EMP device. And now what are you guys up to? You guys got this town open to your disposal again. I don't know about anyone else. I'm heading to the mayor. Yeah, let's go to the mayor. I'm gonna I'm gonna bust his door down this time. This yeah, the time mayor. there's no reason not to. The mayor's office is way down here. I should have just fast traveled you guys. I'm gonna nod at that one chick that was there who gave us the. That was actually Kren. That was Kren. Oh, that was Kren. That whole that whole time, yeah. Oh well, never mind. She was sort of leading you guys there, for whatever reason. All right, so there's a crowd here. Um. So we're going to do this a little bit more like theater of the mind style. Um, Bring them out. Hang them. You hear them all shouting. Get out here, Malcolm, you son of a bitch. We know what you did. 
Where are, where are all of you guys? I don't know where you guys went. Uh oh, we're waiting. I'll bring you over, Mike. I'll bring you oh, down. Oh, you're there. over. You're over yeah. where the bird guy is. Well, a little bit further past them. Um, I'm moving you down. I'll move the bird guy too, since he doesn't know his way around. Too. <laughs> He's never been here. So, Noctua, you're with the party. So they're all sort of like this is the main entrance to the mayor's hall. Um, that you're you're sort of walking towards, and I'll I'll zoom in on the map so you guys can see. You guys see where you're at? Um, so the crowd's gathered there, and they're banging on the door. They say, "Malcolm Reynolds, you son of a bitch! You sold you sold us to that son of a bitch, Logan Lester, and you're gonna pay." Everybody's throwing shit at his door and stuff, and he's you hear him shouting uh, over the loudspeaker, "Yeah." I didn't know anything. What are you talking about? You better leave here before I call the, the sheriff over. I'll have you all arrested and thrown in the stockade. You better get out of here. He's like, you know, going on and on about this. Um, uh, the fact that he doesn't should we know. Do anything? Should we do anything about that? Hmm. What does door seem to be made of? Some type of metal. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go chop down the tree. And use it as a battering ram. Okay. I'm gonna charge the door. Alright. Okay, go ahead. Make a um That's I make an athletics check. So yeah, you'll have advantage on it. Well, I have advantage on all strength checks too. Yeah. Well yeah. athletics is strength, so Yeah, okay. Okay, um, yeah, you bash down the door, um, and it goes down easily. And he's like, oh, God! Uh, and then you finally get to see him. <laughs> That's the mayor, Malcolm Reynolds. Um, who the hell are you people? What are you doing here? I snatched get him Get out up. of my office! I get out of here! No! Ah! Right get off seat. of me, you brute! Oh, God! Help! And yeah. then the, the people that are attending to him and like in this office are just like, they got smiles on their face just watching you drag his ass. <laughs> yeah. So you, what do you, what do okay, you do well, with him? What's going um, on here? Let's tie him up. <laughs> yeah. Are you straight enough so someone can tie him up? Who wants like, to tie him up? Uh, yeah, who's good at not just a little background for those who aren't familiar with this quest um, you discover that Malcolm Reynolds was working with Logan Lester um, he thought he was trying to cure diseases for the people of this village actually um, he was making them well the mayor says I, I, didn't, I don't know anything about this um I'd like someone to make uh, an insight check here for me. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Damn, plus 12 insight, yeah? Yeah, Noctua, you, you, you get the sense that this man has, is telling the truth like when he says he doesn't know anything about what happened or anything. He seems completely confused about what's going on around right now or why there's so much hostility towards him i i don't believe he's lying i'm not lying i swear uh, I, logan said he would help us my daughter my she was sick i okay so maybe maybe i told him he could take a few people but uh, he said he was going to cure the diseases of the town Everybody was dying. Everyone. I mean, we were all going to die, he said. I, I, what was I supposed to do? Um. So, let's see. Um, yeah. What would I do? Let's say I'm chaotic neutral. I say we hang him. No. No, no, not that. Come on, listen. I, I was only trying to do what was best for the tribe. I swear. I swear I on 
on all the old gods, I swear. Um, Look, you have to believe me. What's the name of the guy that we met that used to be the sheriff? Oh, yeah. The drunk sheriff. Um, yeah. Sheriff Jim Williams. He he kind of moseys on up um, yeah, as this is cool. going on. Um, he says, huh, looks like you're stuck between another rock and a hard place there, Malcolm. You're going to get what you deserve. He's like, Jim Williams, this is probably all you're doing. You put them up to this. I knew I was right in firing you. Now, hold nice. on, Mayor. Hold on a minute. I told you long ago that that man was no good. and You didn't listen. And that's why this happened. You were influenced by that evil. And that sheriff you hired, she's no good either. She's not even here. She done run off. So the sheriff named Pris that was working in his role is now gone, he says. Well, uh, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's not like I had any idea what he was doing to the people. I had no idea. I swear. He said he was going to help us. Well, that may be true, but you were fool, Malcolm, and you have no... You have no right leading us anymore. I think your time, Mayor, is over, at the very least. But these good people here, they have a bone to pick with you, and I won't get in their way. Do what you will with them, but I think he may deserve some some mercy here. It's up to you folks, though. Do you regret... Uh... Do you regret letting him take people? Now that you know what it's for. Well, of course I do. I, I I I don't want I didn't want any harm to come to the people. But look, my, my daughter was really sick and she was gonna die. I had to do something. He said he was gonna test on them to see if the cure worked. I had no idea he was this sinister. I swear. I regret it. Of course I do. I would never send my people into harm's way like that. Hmm. You're not fit to lead, but I'll not see you die either. It's up to your town. Oh, yeah. You're lucky this, this isn't mine. I'd have you ripped apart. Hmm. What does uh, everybody else think? think? I'm personally unbarsed and don't really care. Because I have other stuff I'm, I'm supposed to be do, dealing with. I deal with with universal threats at some times. Not just galactic, universal. Well, I'm no universal threat. I can promise that. Look. Just, so I don't really care I'll, what's going on here. I'll step down. I, I look. I, I think. I think. Uh, I'll take. I'll take my leave. If, if, if I need to leave the village, just just give me safe passage, and I'll, I'll take my daughter with me. And then Jim says, "Look, Mayor, or Malcolm. I think we all know what's right here. We still need some of your wisdom, but you're not fit to lead, like these people said." We'll vote a new mayor in soon, but you do need to step down. I will. I, I will. I. I'll just keep to myself and, and tend to my daughter. She needs me. If you really want to heal her, I can. I might be able to help you. Really? Oh, that would be great. I know someone who, who could, but. Unfortunately, he's in a different reality right now. And well, that's that would not going to help. I, what about the rest of them? What about you people? Certainly you have some power. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been able to do what you did. Not to We're me. not the... I can... I can... I can tend to your daughter, possibly. 
I, what? The best I can do. The best I can do is is give is get someone else to help. Is try and, and find some way to travel through the through. We don't ha we don't have that kind of time. <laughs> I'm gonna move you guys to where his daughter is at. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'll, I'll just move all the tokens real quick. You guys end up here. Um, right up here, and there's his daughter. She's like, there she is, Evelyn, my girl. Are you okay, Daddy? I'm. I'm all right. And then she's coughing up blood and and all this other stuff. Um. Um. I'm kind of locked out of the room with that there's these... I got you. I got you. How old is she? Or how... Like, does she... Is she... Like... Like... You know, very young or... She's, she's like, you know, 18 or something oh, like that. You know? Young adult. Does anybody have, yeah. have something that can be... And she... That can ship us through space time. Um, Lyra's like, I don't think we do. Um, but I think if you just allow our new friend Noctua here a little, a little quiet, um, he might be able to cure this girl. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a moment to to check her out with medicine and see what I can find out about her condition. Okay. And what I yeah. like how big of a spell I if I can do it if I can pull it up. Other than I'm going after Logan Lester, there is another reason I came here. Well, right now we have to focus on healing her. Let's see if we'll we can do that, the, and then we can talk about we'll the next the, step. We'll leave the owl human into that. Well, I explained to you. Well, hold on, Mike. Let, let's focus on what's going on in the scene, and then then we can talk about the next steps. Go ahead and make a Madison check, Noctua. Yeah. Okay. So, with some advanced medicine. Um, you start looking at her conditions um, and using all the powers of your magic as well. You, you, you determine that this disease was a genetic disease that was given to her by some type of um, injections over time. Um, it would take a powerful magic. Um, you definitely couldn't heal this with the medicine kit. Um, you'd have to use a greater restoration or something like that to get rid of it. Um, or intense genetic therapy, which she may not have time to survive. She's getting close to the end. It's it's like transforming her DNA at at the at that level, and you know it's it's gonna kill her. <clears throat> Mayor, do you have my my magic requires? gems do you have gems well i have something yeah i got something for that whoa, whoa he pulls out a bag full of like artifacts and gems and stuff like that they don't really okay. trade in many gems but like he has something like family heirloom he gives you okay that you're pretty sure is like equivalent to what you would need is is this worth 100 gold to you um, yeah, uh, yeah. I'll see if I can if I can use that for the magic, for the yeah. greater restoration. It'll definitely work. Yeah. Okay. So, you're casting greater restoration on it, right? Yeah. All right. You do that, and then you start instantly sensing the genetics of her DNA starting to reverse and go back to normal. It will take her maybe a week to fully recover, but the magic is doing its thing on her and she'll be fine at this okay. point. She's already gained, regained some color in her face and she's got 
she's looking better um already like and you when you touch her with with your hands like this halo of stars like covers her whole body as you do it okay and that's how you're able to see all this stuff like you see all this like this this mat like you know down to her cells and like stuff she lights up like like you can see through her and then you see the color of her dna changing like everyone can see it not just you as you're doing this like you see this girl light up like she's made out of light when he touches her and she slowly then the light fades a little bit and she starts to come come around you know but it will take her a week or two to fully recover I think so that she come she comes back around. I think that this was something that was done to her. I don't I don't think this was something this was a disease that she caught. It's probably Logan. Logan Lester, that son of a bitch. He did lie to me. I was such a goddamn fool forever trusting him. Daddy, it's all right. You did what you thought was right. He's like, no, my dear. I, I could have ended up getting you killed. I trusted him. I had no reason to. I didn't. I just, I took on what I thought was right for the people. But in my ignorance and my, in my, my hubris, I just gave in. I'm all right, though. Don't worry. These people saved us. I think we can trust them. You're probably right. Well, I don't know what to say. Um, I'm not mayor anymore, but I still have some pull around town. Um, if there's anything I can do to help you all in your, your travels, and I'll provide what services I can, or at least get someone else to help you. Just let me know, he says. Okay. Hey, do you, hey, remember when I said said something about the other that I have another reason for coming here other than beating up uh, Logan? Yes, we remember. Well, what I'm, about it? Let me elaborate. Okay. So, uh. The fabric of reality is kind of tearing apart. Well, okay, I'm, but how do you know that? Came, the thing that holds reality together is... Hold up. Um, I'm gonna be right back. Okay. Um, I need to okay this with... With you, so we're gonna... Just this, and this is actually talk. probably a good we're gonna stop here soon mike so if you okay. want to talk about that we'll talk about that during the week if you want and we'll get together on what your side mission should be how about that this, we'll talk about it offline first and then next session we'll introduce the quest so basically they were this th the thing that holds reality together is a cube Containing all of all of the power in the universe, and it's constantly emitted through that through the universe. Every single bit of fire, every star, every bit of lightning, all originates from this cube. Cube? A cube. And if it were to fall apart, it would everything would would no longer exist. Anything that is done basically to eat voodoo doll of the universe. Hmm. And uh yeah, so um a very specific Think part of it got uh, destroyed during a battle, and uh, 
That means certain parts of reality are fading from existence. This can't be true. Oh, How could that be true? I, we haven't seen any signs of that here on the Terra. Yeah, because when they're erased from existence, all memories and interactions and anything that can and be traced back to them is erased too. Perhaps this has something to do with the Virul tampering with the gods. No, it has something to do with one of my I battles. Well, I don't know about that so much. I you know did that say you, you came I... from a different dimension. Yeah, but this this cube is the center of every dimension. It's hmm. the center of all. To every timeline, every universe, every dimension, everything comes from this one cube. Okay. Well, what do you if suggest we do about it? It's about, it's about as big as the palm of my hand. Pretty small for an infinite for be for containing basically infinite power and being, you know. Connected directly to every single thing in the universe. Well, so, um, is there any okay. like is there any way this cube exists here? Is that what you're? Is that why you came here? Yeah, parts of a cube were take were blasted across reality. So I am coming to find them and or and bring um, put the, that cube back together. Hmm. I would. I would show you what's what where and what where the cube broke off what parts of the cube broke off and where they broke off and what they look like but uh you know I kind of still don't have power in this thing Okay well it can gener it can, th maybe yeah, this thing can generate holograms Maybe we'll have to search for those parts here. And I bet, Ly this is Lyra saying, I bet you the Virul know something about it. So, they might. But this is even bigger than, than anything your I know. ever have dealed with. Well, we, we understand that, but if there's anyone who would seek out power like that, it, it would be them. They have the power of the gods here, cosmic gods. It sounds an awful lot like your cube. Not cause this is bigger than even me. And I literally killed Satan. Oh. Is this Satan a god on your world? No. He, he, Satan is Satan. What is that? They don't know Satan because it's they're not from Earth. Oh. Yeah, they, they're, they're not familiar with the Earth lore. Right? Say what? You know what hell and the underworld is, right? Well, not exactly. Basically. We have many underworlds. Yeah, we have the Abyss and the Nine Realms and, you know, we have that. This is all yeah. very confusing to me, Lyra says. She puts her hands up. She's like, ah. I don't want to know about this place if there's that much evil there. Hell is the embodiment of evil. It's phys evil's physical representation. Because mm. that had to exist. It balanced out good and ha heaven and good. And all of that. Demons come from hell. Demons are well. tortured souls. That's literally what hell is. A place to, t a torture chamber for people who, are wrong who wronged others in the world. Oh. It's well, basically it's a torture chamber for people like murderers or people who put pineapple on pizza. Okay. <laughs> 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 What's pizza? Pineapple. 
Oh, all right. You don't know what that is either. Uh, well, if there are pieces of your cube here, they have to be somewhere on this planet, right? Do you sense yeah. them here? That exact what I what I, I accident I killed Satan, which which fragilized the cube in a way where the where the sheer power emitted managed to break off a piece of the uh, cube. Okay. But how did you end up here? That's what we're trying to figure out. Maybe the cube brought you here. I have a way of traveling through realities. But it, it was kind of one... It was kind of only a beta test and was kind of just one way. Oh, so, uh, God. I'm kind of trapped here now. We see that. Yeah. Well, are you going to keep traveling with us so you can Probably. get your suit repaired? All right. Well, you know our story about the Varul and all the evil going on here. We could use your help. And if we find any information through the Varul, maybe they know about the cube. We're going to... If, we, if they, the only Varul that would possibly have... Have that informa any information about it is their leader, and I don't even know who that is. That's just a good get. That's just my best guess. I see. Well, we don't know who their leaders are, really. They've never really revealed themselves. We've only ever had to do battle against their shock troops and and their legions of armies. Their so. main leader, one that. That rules all of them. They're the one that rules their entire species. Um, not to a when you when you're hearing this conversation about the rule leaders and such like. Does anything spring to mind for you about that? Maybe. Maybe. Um. They're they're led by. I know that they're, they they have a series of islands on this planet where I believe that they have a very powerful device. Your, some of your cube could be there. But Why they, they use the... But I... Just, I, I don't... I think we'll have to sail to get there, but we'll need to if we're concerned about a shield here, they will have, I mean, they should have more devices like that on their, um, so Lyra is like, are you talking like some type of island chain or something or something different? Like, I, where I is believe this place? that it's, it, it was, it was in a vast ocean away from everything else. Hmm. I've never heard of an island in the middle of the ocean like that. <sighs> Maybe we can talk to someone here about that. If there is such an island, we'll figure it out. Um, well, wait a minute. Vast ocean. Well, there is the legend of the atoll that sunk thousands of years ago in the middle of the ocean. You said it was quite big? Yeah. Hmm, it could be that. But that's just a legend here. No one believes that. Unless... Maybe the Varul found a way to raise it. Um, did the legend involve gods? Well, yeah, there was these gods, like... And she goes on to describe all these different gods and stuff. Said there was a race of gods. I I'm not an expert, but it's like stuff they tell children, you know, like in fairy tales and stuff like that. Um, it's just a place where 
before time immemorial, people lived from somewhere with high technology and all this other like advanced stuff and magic and all. I guess anything's possible now that you are all here with all your powers. Um, magic does exist after all. But who knows? I, I don't know. I'm just a girl. I just, I, I don't have such knowledge about stuff. Well, so she's, that... she's basically telling you it's a fable about Atlantis, for lack of a better term, you know? Uh... Um, that there was once upon a time this magical island where these gods I lived. Do. and I have, a vague rem- I have a vague memory of that, too. You do? And I was like... Yeah, remember, I originated from this planet. They told that story here. Oh. I thought you were from some other dimension called Earth. I'm from another planet. I'm from another dimension, and, but I am also, but I was from another planet. I was on this planet. I used to be on a different dimension's version of this planet. Oh, that so maybe version. the legends are the same on every version of the planet. Some of them are. Well. We'll just have to look into it then. And I think that's a good stopping point for tonight, guys. Does everybody agree? Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Yeah. I mean, I put, I mean,